It's like something out of a science fiction movie, a man navigating a mysterious maze of dark underground tunnels. But Redmond salt mine foreman Kyle Boschart knows where he's going and what he can expect around the next turn. We've had geologists tell us that the deposit here is about 5,000 feet deep. Is that right? So from almost surface to 5,000 feet is solid salt. Salt mining in the United States is a $2 billion a year business. It's almost straight vertical. The deposits here at Redmond were formed millions of years ago from large bodies of salt water that once covered the region. But those horizontal deposits were dramatically altered by violent geological shifts in the earth. There must have been some earthquake to tilt that, that yeah. horizontal deposit. Yes. You know, that would have had good. to have been huge. Now you're probably wondering, just as we were, how did all of this pure salt survive? Well, the way we hear it, at some point during the Jurassic Age, a series of volcanoes spread ash all over this part of Utah. It was that thick layer of volcanic ash that preserved and protected these deposits. Historians believe animals and local native tribes discovered the first signs of sea salt here. Then in the late 1800s, Utah's earliest settlers turned it into a business. Uh, it's completely transparent. It's almost kind of a rose color. The Boschart family took over operations at Redmond in the 1950s, continuing sales that targeted salt for farming and chemical production, as well as cooking and preserving food. Is this going to taste like salt if I put it in my mouth? It will. Very good salt. We think that through the minerals in it, it uh, makes it a little less bitter, mm -hmm. almost a little bit of a sweeter tasting salt. Mm -hmm. But it was a growing consumer interest in health foods in the 1970s that spurred sales. Claims that sea salt with minerals can improve certain health conditions prompted the development of a culinary product they call real salt. And your salt is from a prehistoric ocean. Whereas the sea salts that are coming off from the oceans today, they were saying, what about the acid rain, the toxic waste, the sewage, the garbage, the radiation? The company has seen profitable sales overseas, much of it tied to those issues of purity. While culinary salt packaging is important, industrial uses make up the bulk of sales at Redmond. These huge piles of de-icing salt are 70% of the business here. Crews work almost round the clock, and during the summer months, they step up production, trying to get a jump on snow season. Because when it hits, it can hit pretty hard, and these trucks will be in here sometimes all the way down to almost Redmond packed in, you know, and sometimes waiting two and three, four hours for a, for a load to get out of here. And just as it looks, it's a job unlike almost any other. Workers harvest the salt some 300 feet below the surface in 40 by 80 foot tunnels that twist and turn for three miles. Blasting is a daily occurrence and crews often work in the dark. You notice the uh, yellow reflectors? Kyle Boschard carries on a family mining legacy that started with his grandfather and uncle. Can you go just about anywhere in Utah and find this? No, uh, no. Um, right here is the only area we know where it is so close to the surface. Exactly. And unlike farmers who see just one crop in the season ahead, Kyle has a different perception of his underground harvest. Yeah, it'll be long past my lifetime before this deposit here is exhausted. Mm -hmm.